Every couple day, update, yay, yay, yay. What's happening, mother fluffers? Ah, It's been a minute. It's been a minute. Ooh, it's been a minute. What's happening? What's happening? Um, nothing. Nothing's happening, man. I'm just still doing the thing that I do. Uh... I thought I'd pop in real quick, though, because, uh, let me just move that out of my face. Whoop. I thought I'd pop in real quick because, uh, figured something out van-wise, uh, vehicle-wise, I guess. I believed that I had this, like, startup issue. Um, I was starting it in the morning, and it would, like, blah, start it up, and blah, 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 blah. And it would shut off. And it started up and blah, 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 blah. And it would just keep, like, three times it would shut off. And then eventually you'd have to, like, like, hold the key in place and make sure it didn't, like, shut off on you. So you're kind of holding it on. And uh, th- th- there's a few things, okay? So, like, my dad was like, oh, you got to put sea foam in the gas. That'll help with startup issues like that. And then my brother was like, oh, you got to turn... Don't turn it on, just turn it on enough to engage everything so that all the lights light up. And uh, so you'll see your gas meter go up and all the things will engage and turn on. And give it a few seconds to engage the fuel pump and all this other shit inside. And then start it up. Uh, and I thought that was working, but again, blah, 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 blah. It would just keep shutting off. Eventually what I figured out was... This bullshit right here. The key to everyone's house in the, in the whole damn city. Man! Why do I get all these keys? Well, the weight of these keys, along with the car key, the ignition key, uh, all that weight, uh, it's a very... It, it's a hair trigger, okay? The switch is so finicky that if you just bump it, it's just like a little, like, bump, just like a little, like that, a little bump, the thing shuts off. The ignition shuts off. So you can't have anything bumping it. And the weight of the keys and all this shit was getting in the way and it was causing the key. I would turn it on and the weight of this was turning it off. So what I've done, ladies and gentlemen, um, and I know there's different ways around this. I know there's keychains that have a little piece. So your ignition key would go on another little keychain clip and has a little spring-loaded release Boop. but you know what man i've had those before those fucking break and next thing you know you're like where's the little piece with that other key that was on it luckily in my life i've never put an ignition key on that and i've only ever lost my house key which you can recut uh ignition keys though man are are a little different you don't want to lose your ignition key especially if you're like me and only have one ignition key uh and these things have like like the plastic is broken off of my the big rubber dongle piece is broken off, but there's a microchip. There's a microchip in in here. I'll show you guys that. In, there's a little chip in there that has something to do that tells the steering wheel that this is the key that goes for this vehicle. Um, so I thought it might have been that. But it's not because it actually starts up every time and it just blah, 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 go off. So here's what I figured out. Taking the key off of the weight, fix the problem. But what do you do with your key now? You don't want to sit every time and do that. Sometimes you're in and out, in and out of a vehicle. You don't want to keep doing that. So here's what I came up with. Find yourself a hair's elastic. Um, and it goes on your wrist. That's it stays right there you can always feel it you're like oh oh, oh yeah yeah there it is it dangles down sometimes like a thing like a, a jewelry boop, 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 boop. like a charm bracelet um so yeah that's what i did but these motherfuckers break all the time you can't trust one hair elastic with your key to your house if you live in your van so what i've done is i've taken another hair elastic and when you put a hair elastic on put um try out a few different ones you don't want it like uh so tight these get stretched out really easy you don't want it so tight that 
Uh, it's going to cut the circulation off of your wrist. Bing! So find a looser one. Hey and then <laughs> just thread it through the loop. Ba-doop. Through the loop. Whoop. Do one of those loopy loops. And then you push that through like this. Whoop. And whoosh. So now I have a backup. I've got two of these mofros. And then both of those go on like that. Now I feel confident that if one of them were to break at the seam, that the other backup elastic will come into play. So that's what's been going on in my crazy life. Um, reading some comic books. Reading some comic books. There's a... If anyone wants to read comics online, you can go to getcomics.info and it's wink, wink, comic books. Wink, wink to download and wink, 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 yar, matey, uh, enjoy. So I noticed Amazon has their own new comic book the Netflix of comic books, basically. You pay nine something a month and you can go on and read all the comics you want. Well, these are all, all, uh, it's kind of like, uh, before they go to print. So you've got these beautiful high def, high resolution files, right? And before they print them, like on paper, paper comic, they've rendered them into an actual comic book that you can, like a PDF file, and you can go through and read and zoom in, and the quality is like, woo, because this is what they're seeing on their screen when they're making the shit. When you go to print, we're doing four-color process, we're doing all this other all this other shit, some of it's offset, you know, there's, it's not, it's losing a little bit of something when you go from screen to print. It loses a little bit. Uh, so it's really cool to see like what, what it looks like from the, the designer's point of view, what they're looking at in their little comic book studios and their offices. Uh, yeah, so that's getcomics.info. That's the website, dot .info. And you can get a comic book viewer. Um, you can download them. Uh, I have an app on my phone, uh, a really cool one. And I uh, can't remember the name of it right now. Uh, it's called... Anyways, I don't know. I tried probably 10 before I found the one that I like for me and reasons that I like. So you can probably have your own reasons of why you like, of how you like to, to scroll and move things around on the page. Uh, I like a simple scroller. I just scroll down and then I change the page. Whoosh. I read the page and then I skip to the next one, left and right, side swipe, up and down. Uh, some of them are weird and wonky and some of them jump around a little weird. The controls are kind of funny, but they're funny to me. They might not be funny to you. So just try them out. If you like comic books, you can read a ton of them. So they've got Marvel, DC, they've got the Image Comics, they've got all different uh, brands of comics. So I've been reading uh, a lot of comics. <laughs> uh, so I read them on my phone and uh, then I just delete them. The files are big, so you're going to want a lot of space dedicated for these. Like I'm saying, because sometimes you download just one issue, just the one comic, but sometimes you download the whole series. Comic books come out in series, just like TV shows, where you'll have 12 comics uh, per year, like one per month or something like that. Or every two weeks, a new comic comes out and but put those all together into one package. And some of these packages are like a gig or like two or three gigs in space. So oftentimes I'll download them onto my laptop and I'll just throw a few issues over onto the phone. And then as I get through those, then I'll delete them and I'll put more over from the laptop but if you're one of those people with these new ass phones with unlimited space basically you know gigs upon gigs upon gigs then go for it man get comics.info ooh 
awesome. Have an ad blocker. Have uh, some kind of virus protection because I don't trust uh, wink wink yar websites that that much. There's always something squirrely going on in the background, and you need to protect yourself. So every pony out there who uh, wants some free comics, that's how you do it. If you want to. Uh, save your ignition from all that weight this is how you do it and when you want to make an every couple day update doodly -doo, doodly -doo, this is how you do it peace love and light namaste and all that other good noise we out here ding